Good morning, nerds. Oh, how's it going today, everybody? Welcome, chat. Welcome, everybody. We are two nerds in quest. We are just getting into the chat room right now. You started? What do you Without mean? Without us? Don't you take that tone with me, young lady. What the... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, talk to the chat. Dispatch. Love to talk to chat without you. Ooh. Don't make me declare ah. war on you. <laughs> <laughs> declare war on your ass. Oh, no. Yesterday morning, my, my ass declared war on me. <laughs> I think that's because you declared war on your ass Friday night. <laughs> I declared war on my intestines and bowels Friday night. Good morning, Ryan Kukta. <laughs> Good morning. I'm still trying to work out some audio stuff going on. Hey. Well, we can hear you just fine, so. Okay. Well, see that I've got my earbuds, but nothing's coming through my earbuds. It's still coming through my phone. Very confusing. Uh, check Discord. Tap on Discord and see if you can change the uh, microphone there. I know it's mobile, yeah. but you might be able to yeah. change that. So I shadowed the 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 map today uh -huh. without the preview on, and then when I click the preview on, I'm like, oh, cool! You'll see it because you have the map. I did it like on a room, like wall by wall basis. <laughs> huh. So you see all the walls because you have the map, but you don't necessarily know what's in the rooms. Nice. So when you pop in there, you'll see it. Very and nice. then there's some stuff that you don't see at all. Morning, Alquin. <clears throat> Holy hell, am I slappy today. Stacy's uh, flight was delayed. So instead yeah. of coming in at 1130, she got in at 20 to 2 in Appleton. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get more coffee. I'll be right back. So what's good everybody? What's good? How's the how's the levels in the chat? How's the music? Mixmaster. Mixmaster Tom in the house. Sound like somebody was doing that. So you dishes. don't hear any feedback. I don't hear any what? You don't hear any like feedback or duplication or anything of yeah, I hear an echo. I do too. I also, I also hear me as an echo. Yeah, I'm trying to solve that problem. Really? It's it's coming through the um is it podcast a, audio. Where is it now? Well, that seems like a stupid problem to have. <clears throat> is there a speaker interacting with your microphone? Or where, where does the podcast audio come from? Oh boy. You can see my setup. <laughs> um. Good morning. Rick, do you hear an echo? I do. Tom, do you don't hear that? I don't have an echo on my end. And I don't hear an echo of you either. Let me check the show. All right, say words. 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 Thank you. Say Wait. Gone, was it gone? I don't hear it. Yeah, there's oh, no. Oh, no, there it is. Well, that was a huge delay on it. Yeah, there's no echo on stream. So it must just be in Discord? It's Tom. Because 
when Tom Tom's talks, it doesn't happen. Right. If if you watch the little green uh, uh, podcast audio, the green circle lights up after we talk. So for some somehow the podcast audio. Let's see if that's. But, but that would come I mean, through. Would, well, that would I mean, come if through. If it's just us show. hearing it. If, if it's just us hearing it, we'll deal with it. If it's yeah, not I mean through. it's it's not. It's like, quiet. It, it's so. very, very quiet, and I can completely <clears> ignore <throat> it. So. And I don't hear it now. I don't hear anything I just said. Oh, there I did. It got quieter. Whatever you did, it got qu- even quieter. I didn't do anything. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Hello. That's still there. Yeah, it's there. It's Echo? fine. It's funny because if Tom can't hear it, that's uh, fun. It's all good. Yeah, I that's I'm at a loss. <laughs> Rick, were you watching me shade in the map all day, all morning? No, I was not. Oh. <laughs> I see you in there, or I saw you in there. <laughs> I just haven't. I just haven't pulled up some ready to go when Thanos comes. I'm not actually looking at it. Cool. I don't need that tool. I don't need that tool either. I need this tool. I was thinking. Uh oh. If we wanted to add Ryan to the game. Ryan could be Martin. To the inmate things. Well, he could either be Martin or he could be like a warden trying to track you down. (laughs) Or maybe the warden who let us go. Oh, yeah, the one who let you go, who's a little, because he's a little crazy himself. Yeah, and then we're like, what did you do? Go get them, bring them back. And then, then it's up to us to convince him to just keep traveling with us. What would you think of, like, a, a first Friday every month type thing, or first Saturday every month type thing, so it wouldn't conflict with Dave's? Lit- literally thought of that yesterday. I I, I, w- I think I would be down for a once a month. First Friday avoids most holidays other than the 4th of July. And even then, that that will only occur once every seven years. Um, Did that get rid the, of the uh, echo? Uh, I'm not sure. Nope. nope. <laughs> That's fine. Ryan, it's not you. It's, uh, it's all of us. So. Oh. Good to know. Well, it's everybody but Tom. Everyone but Tom. So it's coming from Tom's end. Whatever we're hearing is coming from Tom's end. And it's fine, honestly. I mean, yeah. I mean, oh, you know what we can do? Jeff, you said the fucking. Oh, God. That's. Yeah, duh. Um, go to. Um, I got to show non video participants. You say podcast audio. Yeah. I, th- um, I think it is. Is that where we have our music come through and sound effects? Probably. So that's where we hear them? Yeah. I think so. Oh, shitty. I was going to say, we can just mute that channel. <laughs> you could mute it, but that's if it's coming through my end, that's because I, I, in order for it to come through to you, I have. I have it muted in our regular Discord, so so you're not getting that audio twice. Hmm. Yeah, if I turn it up, I can really hear it. Turn the radio. Up. The reason it's so soft is because I have it at thirty. Is there music playing too, or is it just just that echo? No. And if I turn it up, I cannot handle it. So the, the, you're not getting music? No. Nah, I don't hear it. I, mean, I get, I get the echo of us on that channel. Oh, you know what probably happened? It went as crazy as we did. Um, uh, my guess is the audio default because uh, there was an update. My guess is the audio. I don't know. 
So that's the default. Updates are fun. No, that's still in the right spot. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... I mean, mine's not too loud to be bothersome. Just and just mute it. Out. If, if you're not getting audio, yeah. just mute it. Yeah, I if muted it. If you're not getting mute, so. music, just mute it. Because the music will still come yeah. through on the stream. That's good. Cool. You just got to remember, we won't hear your uh, sound effects. Genius, can you, can you send me the link for the Owlbear page? I put it in uh, um, the, the mess. The... Make it five, Rick. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be smaller than every other thing you encounter. I'm not going to adjust every damn token I throw on the board to be within the square. <laughs> OCD. Yeah, I know. I made them bigger <laughs> to, to be five feet to match the spaces. I saw you had made them smaller. But I was throwing all my tokens in for encounters and stuff. I'm going, why do these all look so big compared to Rick's? And then I went to yours and I went, oh, he shrunk his! That's why! <laughs> that makes sense. But I'm not gonna monkey you with. I already do enough monkeying with him to label him and everything because I gotta boost the font size and everything. So, did you bring Kane over from the other map or did you create a new Kane? I, I recreated him. Oh, okay. What the fuck was that, Rick? <laughs> the apparition. It's fun. I didn't see that token. Where is that token? Oh, there it is. Haha, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen that one. <laughs> Close this. Having a good vacation, Ryan? Yeah, I mean, kind of just started. We got in Friday at like 10 o'clock at night and then uh spent all day yesterday at epcot so nice yeah it's a good place to be good times oh so you're it's 9 30 where you're at huh oh yeah yeah nice. i already had my breakfast excellent sounds like it's time for a second breakfast <laughs> <laughs> are you ready tom norman it's 8.35. Uh, Genius and Rick say something. I just wanted to be sure that sound is good. Hello. Capitalism. It's wonderful. Current years. Hear us? There's such a delay on the stream that it's funny. All right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm switching this. One thing that Owl Bear should, and maybe he can do it, and we just don't know how to do it, is allow you to save a token that is you that has all your finagling done to it. <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> Welcome back to Two Nerds One Quest. I'm your host and DM, JC Dittmer, here with these four nerds, because we have a full house today, including one Ryan Crixus Kukta who is on a vacay. Loving that. How are you doing, this morning, buddy? Go Florida. Um, it's not as bad as people say. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Tourist industry. Living large. Living strong. Uh, that man grinning and, and tired because, yeah, he was up way later than he was expecting last night. Is one time I'm Norman on the ones and twos. How you doing, buddy? Good. That's two strikes for you, John. That's two strikes where you said I'm ready, and then I made us ready. And then you can started talking about other stuff and had zero clue that I was pointing at you. Three times, yeah. and I drive over to your house and punch you really hard right in the nuts. 
Ooh, and then right. that's... Be ready to drive next week. I'm excited. <laughs> um, I'm excited. <laughs> Channeling Jeff's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, of course, we have Jeff Doc. Jeff Doc Williams. It always goes Jeff Doc Williams. It's not mm-hmm. Doc. It's Kane. No, it's not Kane. It's Kane. It's Kane. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He is crew. Yeah, I was... Yeah, I was I not crew? up late last night, but I think I'm still uh, recovering from Friday night. Right. <laughs> Staying up a little too late. Yep. Yeah, Friday night was fun, for sure. Mm-hmm. We could have recorded that, but then we would have had to put like an X rating on it. <laughs> there was some... That oof. bad. No, That's but... I mean, the violence was over the top. Yeah. Uh, Show title would have been What a Waste. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. And last but not least is Rick Kane. Good morning. Rick Dave. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. You all recovered still, from Friday? I haven't anybody yet today. <laughs> yet. Yet is the, the key word. Mm-hmm. Jeff. Do you got a recap for us about last time we were here? I, I do. It's, ago. it's been a while, so I'm going to be as surprised as you guys are at what happened. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see. So we, we were near the tower, and we started last session backing away from the Bloody Visage statue. Um, and we saw a beam of light emanate from the tower towards Otari, we think towards the graveyard. Uh, we then headed to the dining room, where... Uh, there were six spirits that have appeared and affected crew uh, mentally. Uh, Kane extracted crew, um, and then the spirits settled down. Uh, after a small bit of investigation, the party decided to head to the chapel to rest for the night. And uh, the f- first watch saw Drake take flight from near the boathouse. And uh, Abed on second watch found some goodies, but otherwise nothing uh, nothing too crazy. So, uh, waking up in the temple, we decided to head back to the lighthouse uh, tower during the day. The blood was just a, a small rippling pool instead of a, a person shape. Um, so we snuck through there, headed up to the top to find the, the light source. Uh, it was behind bars, but otherwise empty. So, Lady still used her new ability to see visions of a chained dwarf screaming and thrashing. Um, but, uh, otherwise we didn't find anything of use. Um, we, there was an attempt and fail to remove the blood. Um, so we checked the dining room, but the spirits in the dining room were still, uh, not pleasant. So we had no good effect there. So we decided to head down the stairs into a small room with three chairs. Yes. Uh, since the party was tired and sore... We decided to rest and restore. Ready for the new day, without further delay, we head down to a whole nother floor. Nice. Excellent. So, as you come to the base of the stairs, first, um, Abed, you don't have a token on the map. Am I not there? You're not there. We we had to create new ones. Oh, did we? Okay. Yeah. Did you go to the new map? Or on your old map? I, I think you put us on the you put the new map up, but we yeah. have to put our tokens on it. Yeah, that's what it is. All I see is Abed and GM. Oh, there's crew mm. and there's Kane, so I'm not sure why you're not in the. Yeah, you don't have a token on the map, is the thing. Yeah. In the little room, so you go ahead and put yourself a token on the map. And get yourself labeled up here. Where the hell are the tokens? He's invisible. On the bottom, right, the little sword. sword on the bottom. Anyways, as you enter this room, coming down the stairs, there are three plain wooden chairs that sit along the east wall of this otherwise empty room. The one in the middle is kind of uh, leaning against the wall at an at an awkward angle. Like, it's leaning back? Yeah, it's leaning backwards, and it's it's not leaning flat on the wall. Like how you think it would lean flat on the wall. Ooh, sit in it. Kane, sit in it. 
Why do you want me to sit in it? You're the heaviest one. <laughs> yeah, but if it if it's a trap, it's gonna kill me. It's got a point. Oh, it's <laughs> killing me is so much better. I've ended up dead too many times already. At least if you die, she can bring you back. I'll try. Kane, to precious. Kane, precious. Would you go sit in that chair for me? The cruiser said he'd do it. Girl, do it. Girl, do anything. <clears throat> can I, like, leap up on the chair with, like, one foot on the seat and one foot on the back? Uh, let me tell you what you see as you approach the chair. Okay. <laughs> Before you just, And then I'll let you decide if you want to leap on the chair. <laughs> Sit on it. Um, the chair is leaning against the wall. The wall seems to be pushed away a little mm. bit and sits at an awkward angle. Mm. Do you still want to jump onto the chair? Uh, kind of. Mostly because yeah. they were arguing about it. Okay, go make an acrobatics check to jump on the chair. Or a... You can Captain Morgan pose on the chair. Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah. <laughs> put on the chair. Put on the back. Here's Gaston. Uh, 14. 14. Um, as you jump up on the chair, the chair holds your weight, but starts pushing on the wall, and the wall starts moving. And swings open, and the chair comes down. I need a reflex save to stay on your feet as the chair pushes the secret door open into the hall. 25. I'm right on the surfboard. Absolutely. Yeah, you open that. Uh, revealing a hallway um, back here. Why are you not allowing me to? Uh oh, what did I do? Fog. What's in the room? What's I in the room? The selection. selection. Oh, do I gotta turn the preview off? Is that what I gotta do? There we go. <laughs> um. Hey, that? There's a long hallway here. Is this door actually here that's, that we see in the room? Uh, you door? can mark a door there. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that door is there as well. Yes, on the other side. Yeah, why well, take the real door when we can take a wall? Yeah, you take a secret door. <laughs> if you want to mark the secret door in the wall right there by crew, you can. Need my drawing tools. Hmm. Um, oh, I hate the way this fucking room is, or level's numbered. Because right now, you're going from B6 to B21. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I gotta bounce between, like, four or five pages of the book. <laughs> this, long copies, ten yeah. foot, this long ten-foot wide hallway has a vaulted ceiling arching to a dozen feet high. Uh, there are three broken metal brackets that hang from the ceiling. One to the south, one to the north, and one in the middle. Although what the frames once held is unclear, the floor is strewn with pieces of rotten wood and twisted metal. To the north, you see a pale green light shimmering around a closed doors frame. Um, let me do this. Get rid of this one, too. And this door. Uh, right here, Rick, I don't know if you want to mark it, but right here is where that pale green light is coming from. I can't see. Oh, way up there. North. Way up north. Way up there. We actually yeah, see a little pale there. green light on the map. So. Oh, cool. Good. You see the pale one. green light? Kind of <laughs> here. All right. <clears throat> well, there's a hallway with a bunch of doors through here. Uh, you guys want to go this way or you want to take the the west door? I have a question, John. Well, Didn't we have a map to this? Shouldn't this all be open? Oh, no, it's not because you of... You have the map. You can see all the rooms. Yes. Okay. Yep. You, that... you don't know what's in them. <laughs> that's, I think we should... That... It seems Why like... I fogged uh... it out this way instead of fogging it out in chunks. This yep. was a pain in the ass. <laughs> it seems like the actual the actual door door leads to fewer rooms, so we should explore this little area over here first, I think. Okay. Yeah. So, so I well, imagine we know that it's just kind of like a smaller room. It seems like there's a dead end. So let's explore the dead end. Okay. First All right. Going back to the west. I can open that door. 
You're going to open it? If it's, if it's openable. Yeah. Yeah. Door creaks open. Uh, <clears> on the <throat> other side, let's see, you went that way. I'm hiding under the, the thing. Uh, here, let I'm, me, um... I'm hiding. You can't see me. Hiding. Uh, thank oh. you. It's a boardroom. <laughs> Uh, this there's a long wooden table that sits in the center of this room, surrounded by several wooden chairs. Only the chair to the north uh, seems to be uh, particularly comfortable, although the uh, the leather padding and um, nice accoutrements to the chair are kind of old and raggedy and cut and cracked and kind of decaying. I'll sit in that chair because that looks comfy. Okay. A spike trap gets you as you sit in the seat. Right in the balls. <laughs> yep. Yep. Kukta had the right idea. It, All right. It's a tickle uh, me elbow chair. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will uh, investigate the room specifically. It looks like a door to the south would be kind of where I'm focusing my energy. Yeah, yeah there's a door down there. Looking for uh, traps or other go ahead and make a perception check for the traps let's see uh or plus one circumstance or... bonus to Thievery find trap. check i think uh 24 so i gotta add one and there are no traps there okay okay then 20 23 for perception 24 for traps um okay uh so anything else in the room look out of place or anything Mm. From uh, from a general glance, just it looks like it was like 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 Ryan said when you walked in. It looks like some sort of board meeting room, like a like mm. a meeting area. Like uh, Gary Boardman, and maybe uh, the cane, the chair Kane is sitting in is clearly the chair for the leader, um, and the other chairs are just wooden, um, rickety chairs that don't look like they're holding up too well. To That's tie. why Kane's sitting in. Mm. I think I want I want Kane to smash that chair. <laughs> it's holding my weight. It must be pretty sturdy. Must be. He put his feet up All on right, the table. Let's... Uh, make a uh, <laughs> an acrobatics check. <laughs> do I have acrobatics? I do. Uh, you I'm should. Thirteen. Thirteen. You go to swing your feet up on the table, and you kind of do the thing where you get the one foot up and the other foot, that you go to, like, cross it over, but it doesn't cross over and kind of falls down again, and you look a little bit like a doof. <laughs> Damn armor. Mm. All right, crew. Crude. Check right. us out that door to the cell. Yeah, I will crack the door open down here, see what's behind it. Crack the door open and push it open. Do you have dark vision? I do. I do. All of you have some form, right? Other than Abed? And Abed's I got don't. his... I'm humanoid. Yeah, humanoid. Abed has a flame of some kind. I think he uses or something. Yep, I have my, I have my flame pack, too. right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the endless flame. Torch. That's where your light is coming from, basically. So seeing all this stuff, it's kind of... Um, shadowy and flickery. Crew, you peek in here. And it's a hallway, with a with a door on the other end. That's it, it. looks like it's a secret door, but it's easy to see from this side. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just, it's like a secret door from the other side, and on this side, it's. Are you gonna say hello from the other side? Uh, uh, oh, I didn't realize the whole bottom part of the map. Hello. Oh yeah, there's Is a whole. Is there bottom anybody part of the map. in there? <laughs> Not if you can hear Maybe we me. Went the other way. I don't know. Dun, dun. Who cares? All right. Yeah, there's uh, there's more rooms this way. All right. I'm going to uh, very gently, slowly open the door, assuming everyone's following me, even though they're probably not. Uh, make a stealth check for me. Everybody's probably going to your back. <laughs> Natural 20 for 28. I am rolling nice. too well right now. I feel there's going to be a drop off. Um, oh. you, you crack open the door and from there it swings open toward the left, which allows you to see in here. There are th four Morlocks and they're they're like tinkering with something. They're like 
pulling together the pieces, like large wooden pieces of something. I have no idea what it is. But they're all piled around it. Nothing. All right. Um, because it seems like battle's imminent, I'm going to turn around and message to Kane. Um, in his head, uh, we got company in the form of Morlocks. I know what Morlocks are. Um. You, uh, okay, we have company in the form of little you, gremlin goblin guys, guys from upstairs. <laughs> you fought yeah. some upstairs. Some more of those Just... gremlin looking dudes. All right, and then I will stealth. Uh, out to the corner here. Oh, let me do this. This is... What is this? We're trying to f mix up your numbers as much as possible. Of rooms. I can get, get through the, the hallway. It's better you went this way. <laughs> if you're trying to mix oh, up the numbers, you... <laughs> it's kind of funny because I guess it is kind of decent. Because if you go one way, uh, it's all the higher numbers. If you go the other way, it's all the lower numbers, so... Theoretically, we should. But when you go one way, like if you're going bouncing back and forth and walking back through the boardroom each time, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> okay, we'll do I'm one room on this through. side, <laughs> then we'll go back through and do one room on the other side, and then we'll come. Uh, oh, there's a dragon over there. Yes, there is a very large one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dragon. All right. Uh, uh, let's see. You're sneaky. Um, uh, anyone else? Uh, are you guys stealthing out there? Crew stealthing out there. <laughs> like Kane, we're walking like crew. We're, imi we're imitating crew. Okay, I need stealth checks from you then. <clears throat> I'm just hanging back. I heard more locks or some shit from way back in my position, and I'm just hanging uh, No, I you would have heard. You don't know I what a Morlock is? Kane. You would have heard, like, the, the gremlin dudes from above. Yeah. I messaged to Kane. I don't know. Did Kane tell you guys? I did. Oh, yeah. Just it was in his head. Frost. Abed was, I don't know where Abed was. Abed was doing other things. <laughs> Abed was doing Abed things. I rolled a 19 for stealth. Okay. What was your stealth, Kane? 20. 20? Oh, good. All right. Uh, <clears throat> give me one second because I'm looking for this and I'm not finding it. Um, oh, there it is. It's right at the fucking top. Jesus. Good, good God. <laughs> good God, man. I think the assumption is they're not friendly. So um, can I, in the interest of starting or getting ready for initiative, can I stealth to this position? Uh, you had a 28? Yeah. And then uh, I'd like to roll stealth for initiative. You can tiptoe right up to him and tap him on the shoulder so they turn around. You, you would have stealth for initiative? Um, I will use your stealth that you rolled into okay. for initiative. <laughs> okay. Um, so remember what that roll was, other than Tom, who is not stealthed yet, because he's still in the hallway. Yeah, I'm not stealthing. Uh, yeah, you absolutely get out there. You think they're you get into that position? Um, they are absorbed in whatever they whatever it is they're doing, and you see actually as you get closer, they have like pieces of a ballista. <laughs> that they're trying to piece back together and they are fighting with each other and arguing how to do it and I mean, um, so we, we could either kill them or let them build the ballista and kill themselves but this one's cool this way would be quicker so I'll I'll message back then to Kane like ready when you are and let him direct the rest of the group to whenever they're ready to start Kane had here. 20. Crew, what did you hit? Oh, Crew had a... Oh, 28. Yeah, Crew had a 28. I put that on Abed for some fucking reason. You go ahead and gank one crew whenever you're ready. I'm I, I'm good where I'm at. There we go. Let's get this back to zero. It's been a while since we've had combat. I gotta check my... Uh... Lady Frost had a 19, you said, Ryan? Yes. Um, Abed, because you're in the tunnel, I'm going to have you roll a perception for your, for your initiative. 23. To, to perceive whether, oh, you, you know exactly what's going down. I, I assume that you're going to be asking for a, a... Yep. So, um, crew, it is your go. They are still oblivious. They're going to end up being flat for right. until they have a turn. 
So, uh, yeah, and that's uh, my surprise attack allows me to do that. They're all flat-footed creatures yep. that haven't acted are flat-footed to me. And then now sneak attack in D&D is once per turn, but sneak attack in in uh, Pathfinder does not appear to have that same thing, but probably less likely that you're going to have multiple attacks at, uh, at flat-footed. So yeah, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'll start with uh, B, because that's the one I'm closest to. Mm -hmm. And I will start attacking. How do you start your attack? <laughs> uh, well, we, we're, uh, we're going with the rapier, the uh, plus one rapier. Oh. And going for a heart pierce from directly behind. Nice. So, uh, 27 to hit. That is a critical success, sir. Nice. So, okay, so the the normal, how is this going to work? There's The rapier has the uh, property, what is it? Roll all the dice, it has the add, all the, add all the bonuses, and then double it. The, the, it automatically does the crit damage if you hit okay. the little star in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I have to roll that, that, and sneak attack. So, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. so uh, 16 damage total. 16 damage total. And that's to B? Correct. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's doing so hot. All right. Before he has a chance to uh, scream out or anything, I will then uh, second attack with the Kukri. I'm not going to pull the rapier point. Okay. Uh, Ew. Okay, that was a seven to hit. Ew, I'm nope. assuming that misses. Uh, so then, since that missed, I'll use the Kukri again for the third attack. Okay. Is it 12? Nope, 12 misses. You All are right. so confident after putting your yeah. uh, <laughs> rapier through them that you're like, oh, this is going to be easy. <laughs> you got all cocky and you missed twice. Apparently, I'm not as good with my left hand. <laughs> Apparently. All right. That's my turn. All right, that moves us to Abed. Uh, you hear a, like, squeal from something outside. Uh, you assume that crew has uh, started the festivities. <laughs> All right, I am going to come down and around the corner. <clears throat> so I'm going to come down and around. Yep. Just far yep. enough so I can see everything. Yep. Uh, you could see all four. Of, uh, <clears throat> no, you got to be in that square. Yeah. Is is the thing they're holding? Are they all holding it? Is just one person holding it? It's pieces. It's pieces of one. They're trying to put together, <laughs> and they're okay. fighting about how to do it. I was. So they all have like a piece of it, and they don't know how to put it together. <laughs> I was hoping it was one kind of bigger thing that they're all holding onto, and I was hoping it was metal because I have a <laughs> spell that I haven't used yet. So if I could zap one with electricity, it would go through all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was clever. Uh, Sadly, it's not. One right. of them has a metal piece, but the other one's got like wood, and one's got two pieces of wood. All right. One's I'm... got like the, the he's got like the the cord for it. <laughs> he's like, mm, this has got to go here and here, and the other guy doesn't want anything to do with it yet. Which which one was hit originally? B. B. The cl closest one to crew. Okay, and that was for how much damages? Sixteen. 16. 16 yeah. Okay. Technically, you wouldn't know. You see Crew standing there with a rapier through his chest. Yeah. Yep. I see. That's right. what you see. So I'm gonna do. Uh, He's still moving. Their, heart, their, their hearts are on the opposite side, apparently. You see me take my staff and point it out, tip with the red ruby that's attached to the to the end of it towards Give that one. Just the tip. Just the tip. And you see, see right. bolts, that's, bolts of I think sparks. that's already been a show title. What has been? Just the tip. Yeah, just, just the tip. tip. Yep. Bolts of sparks. <laughs> uh, and electricity shooting out of the end of the staff. Um, I'm using deadly spark. Uh, a spark flashes out from the relic toward a creature within 20 feet. The spark deals 1d12 electricity damage. Uh, basic reflex save. Reflex save. Where's his reflex save? Uh, re 
Uh, that's 26. So he saves. Yeah, he rolled. He rolled high, and he's got a pretty good reflex. Save. Does it no, no damage? No damage. Save? Oh, save or suck. Ooh. It doesn't say anything Ooh. other than just a save. So <laughs> it doesn't say half damage on save. The the ba- the that's, rules for basic rolls. That's what a basic save is. Yeah. Oh, so a half damage on save? Oh, so Was it a critical success? It was pretty high. I don't know what the... Um, what what was it supposed to be? What was the save? Uh, there was no number. It just says roll a basic. It's, it's related to your... Probably your, your spell. spell. Yeah. Uh, Whatever that might be. That's, that's cool, but there's no information with my spell. Um, I would have said probably like... What what it's the normal oh, like fourteen or fifteen save? Four, fourteen. It, it's on the top if you click open detect or uh, no, that's de- well. I open detect magic. It says DC fourteen. So I'm assuming your DC is generally fourteen. So that would have been a critical save. So I'm yeah. assuming that would be a no. I like twenty six is I would assume a critical save on a basic DC roll. I think that's a safe assumption. Yeah, that's interesting. Yep. There's there's no unless it's in the rule book somewhere that says a basic save is this. It should be related to whatever you're spell casting. Uh, probably intelligence is. My intelligence is eighteen. Your arcane DCs are eighteen. If you look on the left hand side it says attacks and, and then there's spells. You have arcane attacks are plus eight, and arcane DC. If you click on it, it's DC eighteen. Okay, so then that's what you would have to beat. Yeah, he'd have to beat an eighteen. Okay, and he did. So it's just a regular save. So you take two electrical damage. Two electrical damage. Found it. (laughs) Uh, Okay, where is he? Interesting. Uh, That's very interesting. Two electrical damage. He's really not looking well. I shocked him in the ass. I gave him the shocker. Um, Although it was only it was only two damage, so it was only two in the pink. I couldn't quite get the other one in there. It's probably it's probably a good thing he saved some Jeff because you're holding a rapier that's inside of him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I, was thinking, I was thinking about giving you yep. some damage, but he saved, and it was only two damage. So, yeah. Um, but had that been like a crit or full damage, yeah. he might have had a little carryover. I got to remember to wear rubber gloves around Abed. <laughs> like a joy buzzer. It's like, like a dude holding a perpetrator when he gets tased. <laughs> Wearing rubber gloves around Abed. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> so you, you moved and cast a spell i assume that was probably three actions was that all three of your actions tom that is correct <clears throat> Jacob. okay um so we got a and b a is I'm gonna, <laughs> i lined up with a so i'm gonna i'm gonna hit a um <laughs> this is my my lunge my lunge ability to extend my range by five feet, so I'm going to okay. back A from where I'm at. A from where you're at. Nice. I can hit 15 feet. Um, Akeem. 23. 23 does hit. Nine points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm going to lunge at him a second time. Ooh. Do it. Do it. Do it. Eight. Eight. Eight does not hit. Mm. Um, <clears throat> we're kind of spread out here. Let's see what I be most. I think. I will then. Yeah. 
I go here, there, uh, yeah. I can kind of cover crew and Abed from there. Okay. Okay. Ooh, fun. Ha! <laughs> right. I didn't realize I could do this. This will be cool. Uh, all right. Uh, ladies and it is your turn. I'll uh, move 5, 10, 15, 20. Right behind Kane, but kind of. Yep. So Over I can attack. Yep. Yep. And then I'm going to fling some cold at B. Yep. <laughs> 23 to hit. Oh, yeah. Five damage. Uh, do you want to describe how the cold kills this guy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it hits him right in the face, and it looks like uh, it replaces his eyes. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> he's got, for a second, he's got, like, these ice crystal eyes, and then you just kind of... Falls over backwards. Excellent. Is that all um, three reaction? Or do you have one more? Uh, let's see. Move and two for your magic. Yes. Or one. Uh, not magic. That's an attack. Oh. Um. So I am going to attack again. I guess. Okay. At a. Okay. And that's 20 to hit. Oh, yeah. That hits. And that one's 7 damage. Ooh, nice. Yeah, he's not looking so well, though. And that's it. All right. That moves us to them. Um, hmm. How do they want to do this? Scatter. Uh, this Wait, dude's gonna go here. Um, and he is going to swing at Kane. Uh, 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 um, let me see. Uh, where's their attacks? Uh, Maybe bigger. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, no, that's not the die I want. Not this one. Oh, that's a nat 20. Uh, plus 7, 27. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's twenty, so it doesn't exceed. It doesn't exceed by ten, but it's because it's a critical because of the yeah, because because it steps up. Um, so one d four plus two four six twelve points of piercing damage, uh, and then. Uh, his next attack... That's a ghetto crit, by the way. <laughs> so, he crit and ghetto crit. And he's going to swing at you with that again. Uh, this time it's a 19 to hit you. Oh. Nope. So he steps to you, stabs you really good once, and then uh, misses you the second time. Um, C is going to jump on top of D's shoulders, and the two of them are going to move towards crew. That's... In the same space. Awkward. Um, <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot the trench coat. This would be much more <laughs> make much more sense. Um, unfortunately, oh, well, actually, he can he can throw his dagger. I mean, I'm um, a gnome, so I'm pretty short. So, yeah, uh, he's gonna throw his dagger. Uh, C is gonna throw his dagger before he jumps on D's shoulders, as you. Um, sure. Because sure. it's gonna take his movement to get on the shoulders, and he's got two other actions, and he can't take hit half his turn and then have D take his turn and then I go back to C. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> so he's going to throw a dagger at you. Oh, I keep hitting that one. Uh, does a 21 hit you? 
It does. Alright. What is the damage omen? That's the same as the other one. Uh, that's five piercing damage as he tosses a dagger at you. Uh, he doesn't have another dagger, so he jumps <laughs> on the shoulders of D, and uh, D is going to attack you now because D, because they are in what is called swarming stance. Um, is that a thing? Yes. <laughs> a Morlock can share the same space as another Morlock, but no more than two Morlocks can occupy the same space. When Morlocks share the same space, they gain a plus one circumstance bonus to attack rolls. <laughs> hmm. That makes sense. So, so, yeah. so D, you're like, what the hell's happening? Yep, D is going to uh, try and stab you. Oh, God. <clears throat> There's the dice selector at the top that is a d20 in a circle <laughs> and allows you to select different colored dice. And every time I need to roll a d20, I click that damn die instead of the actual d20 <laughs> that I need to roll. <laughs> oh, uh, 16 to hit. That will miss. Uh, oh, actually, it's a 17. Does that matter then? Still misses. Okay. Because he, he had the circumstance bonus uh, for the swarming stance. Uh, he's going to try again. Um, hey, I clicked the right one this time. Uh, 27 to hit. Uh, hit, not a crit. And that go. is a, um, that was a 17 on the die. <laughs> At a minus uh, five? Oh, shit, no, you're right. You're right. So 22, minus, still hits. 22, oh, I still hit. Okay, yeah. it still Sorry. hits. My bad. <laughs> I gotta remember that. Um... Call that out if that seems unusually high, please. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Do you have? Does it give you the three, uh, three attack buttons? Like, cause... I don't have buttons. Okay. He's rolling like... in Owlbear. He's not rolling in Wanderer's yeah. Guide like we are. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't. I don't have the buttons that I can click. I wish okay. it would be nice yeah. if they did. That's so handy in Wanderer's Guide. I wonder if I. Oh, hang on. If I pull. No. Nope. All it does is do view description. Yeah, it just pulls it up as a sidebar, and it doesn't have any of the things in it. I mean, it has all the numbers, but it doesn't have any of the buttons to click. Hey, there you go. <laughs> um, so, I got to roll damage. Uh, yeah. That, so, um, you don't have to, but... <laughs> uh, four piercing damage. All right. That was movement, that was two attacks. Yep. They are dumb. We're back to crew. Alright, so C is on top of D's shoulders. And correct. And C threw his dagger, correct? Yes. All he can do now right. is bite you. Which, which is if he's on hit. top of D, I don't know that he could reach me with a bite, so he's gonna have to deal with that problem on his turn. I'm going to attempt to knock him off of D by killing D first. Ooh. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to use my ability um, Twin Faint. So the, okay. first, so the first attack is normal, and the second attack, uh, it would be flat-footed. Okay. So first attack with the rapier is a uh, natural 20 for 29. Hot damn. Yeah, for a long good tonight. Oops. Damn. I forgot that's to like a about double, the first. That's like a double critical <laughs> It is, honestly. Because he's got uh, the nat so, 20. And... So uh, don't get sneak attack for that one because he wa this one wasn't flat footed. Um, but uh, 18 and 6 is uh, uh, for the, the crit damage is 24. <laughs> um, to D. Yeah, how does he die? <laughs> Uh, I just let him collapse. I just kind of <laughs> um, swipe across the neck, and he's like, "Okay, we're so classy." C, and he needs, C needs a reflex save because um, <laughs> his Ooh. buddy below him died. <laughs> since, since it's still part of this, can I then uh, attack him as he's falling with my uh, kukri? Just to, uh, to attack C. You would be better off to let the fall happen. Okay. <laughs> if it happens, 
I mean, because all you're going to do is increase the difficulty. Like, he's going to get a circumstance bonus for being moving. A moving target. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll let <laughs> him how I'd rate that. If he fails this, he's going to be prone in front of you, which will be very beneficial. Um, 13 and... What's his reflex? Oh, no. He lands on his feet over his buddy. All he's, right. like, straddling his buddy. All right. Um, actually, I don't know if Flatfoot or the uh, Twin Fane. I would say Twin Fane is intended to be at the same target because it's a distraction. I'm going to say he's flat-footed because so... he's straddling his dead buddy. All right. I'll allow it because I have a say in this. <laughs> Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. It says, it's, on, it's only an eight, so flat footed's not probably gonna matter. Uh, yeah, that only brings it up to a ten, which is still a miss. And let me just, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to dosey do so I will just use my third uh, swing back with the rapier. Oh okay. yeah. Um, actually, that's interesting. No, I'm swinging with the kukri because it has less of a. It's um less of a penalty to the bonus. I feel like every time uh, you but swing... It's still in I feel like every time you swing the kukri, you need to yell kukri! And just because it's such a <laughs> funny sounding name. Isn't it? Uh, well, it's, only a, it's only a nine, so... Nine. I'm sure it's it's a nine misses. Yeah. So, right. doing a good good first hit and then two misses. It's not yep. bad in here. It's All a right. rug. <laughs> yep. Blow your water early and... Leave it for late. Uh, uh, that was odd. Ah, that... You you watch these freaking dudes jump on each other's back, go after a crew. Crew takes out the bottom one. Top one's standing there. I'm gonna say he's still flat footed until he can move out of the square. All right. <clears throat> I am going to uh, telekinetic projectile uh, from that pile of rocks. Okay. I'm going to go after A. Okay. I'm trying to wrap my brain around how this works because it's been like three weeks. Uh, <laughs> plus eight to hit. 25 to hit. Yeah, this is not easy, D6. 25? Yep. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> Is That's it? actually uh, for A. Yeah, it's it's not a crit. Ah, uh, <laughs> you just missed it being a crit. <clears throat> for AC sixteen. Seven seven bludgeoning damage from the rock. Uh, how does he die? Nice. I force grab a pointy rock, and I yep. fling it, and it shoots, and it goes through the back of his neck, and the point pokes out the front. Okay. Kane, you're you're looking at this uh, little guy as he's like faced up on you, and suddenly this pointed rock just comes out of his throat and <laughs> he falls over in front of you. You get blood freckles. Yeah, get yeah. Blood, you, get, get few, you get a few blood freckles. Yep. Exactly. Um, and that'll be my turn. Any, that's, that's all I'm gonna. That'll do. be it. Yeah. Okay, Lady Frost. It is you. There is one left. Yeah, I think I come out. Yeah, I think Kane. Uh, oh, yeah, Kane. My bad. My bad. Kane. Yep. There's one left. No, I'm Abed. <laughs> yeah, my Abed. Bad. My bad, Abed. My bad. Okay, I'm going to give an intimidating glare to the one that's still standing. <laughs> He's still standing. Uh, 13. Uh, and he gets a uh, what save? Uh,. Will save. Will it's a save. Yeah, it's got to be a will save. Click on the right die, Jack. Or lock save. Uh, that's a, a, a critical failure. For him? <laughs> yeah, he rolled a one, rolled. and he's got a plus six will, so it was a seven, and then I, which is probably a failure already, and then I dump it down one as a critical failure. <laughs> on, a critical, on a critical failure, he is frightened, too. Oh, boy. Nice. And he's also flat footed for minus two, so he's he's at a minus four right now to his AC. Oh hell fuck, I just fucked that up. I took him on the <laughs> tracker. So let me do that to put this. We're gonna make him D and I'm gonna take that off. Gotta add frightened two. two. 
to and flat footed. And flat footed to him. Uh, where's flat footed? Flat footed right. is just a one, but it's automatically a two. Oh, nice. Yeah. I gotta remember to add those things to them because that adjusts their stats in, uh, in um, Wanderer's Guide automatically, which is awesome. Yeah. And I will lunge and swing. 16. Oh, yeah, that hits. Seven bludgeoning. All right. Come around with the second hit. 24. Uh, that is a critical success, sir. Is that minus five? <laughs> yeah? Yes, that was minus five. Excellent. Yep, that's a critical hit then. 14 bludgeoning. Uh, how does he die? <laughs> He's straddling his buddy, right? So he takes yeah. he takes one he takes one right to the groin with the hammer, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's got his legs spread. The hammer just comes right right in there and mm. kills him right over, and he falls face first on top of his buddy. Oh. <laughs> and then he just kills himself. Jesus. <laughs> they are all dead. We are out of initiative. Ouch. Nice. Um. All right, DM. I'm gonna ping. You're going to ping? Um, around here? It's 30 feet, you said? Yeah, so basically I'm just going to look in this room. Yeah, there's... Um, well, you can see in here, through these... Like, there's windows in these doors if you look. Um, these look like, uh, like bedrooms or something. <laughs> like, they were, like bedrooms for soldiers or something like it's just a simple bunk and but the mattresses are worn away and gone and tattered nothing pings uh, magical for you uh, each of these uh, okay. little creatures has a dagger if you'd like the one through the one at crew um, but other than that there isn't a lot there I'll check my queue yeah. Do any of you people who are medically trained want to uh, try to patch me Ooh. up just a little bit? Well, what do you mean, a... you people? You people. We know how to do med <laughs> medical type stuff. Yeah, Southern I'll... Uh, I, I need some, too, so maybe uh, spend some time on some medicine checks. Yeah, yeah I'm doing... I think I'm doing how to, doesn't he? Yep. Treat wounds. Are you going to spend the time right. here in this room? On the medicine it's check? What, 10, 10 minutes? minutes? Yeah. Yeah. We'll take 10 minutes just to patch ourselves up after battle. I don't think that's wrong. Okay. Yeah, so is uh, about, oh, oh. about and, five minutes into the medicine check. Um, oops. Don't move that. <laughs> uh, another one of those little dudes comes out right here. <laughs> And he yells back. He sees you guys and sees the dead bodies and yells back. We can roll initiative Ugh. again. You do not get your medicine <laughs> check completed. Here we go again. Um, well, if, if so, the medicine check though that the, the, that would be Abed and Sil, right? So theoretically, Crew and and uh, Kane could. Kane's let having them it continue. applied to him. Yeah, I'm getting medicine. I assume Abed would be over here applying medicine to me. Uh huh. It's King, you're kind of free to be walking around. No. I've been very not Kane. Um, Crew is free to be walking around. He's the only one, really. All right. So, initiativing? Yes, initiativing. And it's I not a surprise sure. this time. So I'm assuming. Um, you guys are surprised, so until you move, you're flat footed. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's see. What room is that? That's that one. Okay, cool. All right. What do we got, Abed? 17. 17. Hey, Abed. Crew, what do you have? 26. Natural 20 plus 6. Holy hell. I, what the hell? I'm going back and forth. It's great. Terrible. Great. <laughs> terrible. Kane, what do you have? 14. 14. Uh, Lady Cell. Fifteen. Fifteen. And then, um, let me give this a shake. Let's see what we got here. Um, 
Where is there? All right. And this guy gets a. Uh... So we will start at the top with crew, which seems appropriate because you're the one moving around the room. Yeah. So let's see. Five, fifteen. Sure. So I will just go line up. Actually, five, fifteen. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I will go right yeah, there. Get there. You can get there. And then I will use the um, to, to the twin faint. So the first one, the second one would be with um, flat footed because I'm distracting him. So okay. first one, rapier. I got to clear this out. 17. 17 just hits him. Cool. All These right. ones are that a little be... bit different than the other ones. That'll be for seven. They, they seem beefier and uh and then uh so this is the kukri now he'd be distracted by the uh rapier he's flat-footed yep um that's a miss six six Uh, okay. And that's it for me. Okay, that moves us to Abed. Um, you said he looks they look he looks beefier. Oh yeah, these these ones are larger and beefier. All right, almost twice the size as the ones you were fighting earlier. All right, I'm gonna cast uh, mage armor on myself. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, and I'll move back here to where I was previously so I can keep an eye on the door and keep an eye on this door over here so we're not flanked from behind. Okay. And it also seems like the safest spot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done then? Mage armor's two actions. Actually, if I or move over one. to this other side across by where this door is, would I have to, like, if I did things, would I have to shoot through people? Like, would I have to roll? Oh, you can shoot through your the, friends. The, the dead people are on the ground, so yeah. they're yeah. not distracted. It's just, they're just still in pain. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to go over on this side instead so I can kind of get a better view and then... I can duck into this room if I need to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Is that your whole turn then? That is it. Lady Phil, Miss Frost. I'm not. All right, I'm going to needle dart. It's uh it's got a uh, three needles attack a target. Okay. So 22 to hit. Hits. And it's 3d4. Nice. Oh my god, and they're all ones. <laughs> so it is literally three damage. <laughs> that was damage. I mean, yeah. get it in the side. Cool. <laughs> and and then I will still, I will still take a second attack okay. here. And that's only five to hit. So. Still looks distracted, apparently, this round. So, all right. Um, That's it. Crew, he's going to move around you to here. Okay. And then he's going to attack you. He tries to move around to your backside and attack you. Um, so his first attack is... 
I really need to get that uh, an eleven flex attack. Uh, that'll be a miss. His club. He pulls his club out. He's an eleven. Uh, and then he's gonna swing at you again. Um, let's see. Is that uh, fifteen? Yeah, fifteen. Missed. All right. Uh, he is done. Then this dude's gonna come out of here. No, there's no more dudes. Yeah, there is. There's, there's. No no. Dude. He's gonna come out, and now you're flanked. Um, I'll flank. So it's a minus two circumstance bonus, and he gets his sneak attack. So, um, oh, so wait, so I should change mine to be flat-footed? Is that how yeah, that works? Yeah, at this point you're flat-footed until you can get up in between them. Okay, not cool. Okay. Ooh. So he moved, he's going to swing at you. His first swing with his club. <laughs> Um, it is an 11. Ooh, miss. Wow, these guys cannot swing me. Swing their clubs. His second one, however, his second one this is, is with a, a minus 5. Yes, his second one is a 22. Yeah, that'll hit. All right. So then he's got... Uh, let's see, the sneak attack is an extra 1d6. So it is... Man, you'd think I'd be immune to... Wait, sneak attack with a club? Yes. Like, sneak attack doesn't rely on the weapon. Yes, it absolutely does. It, uh, like, strike, sneak attack yeah. has an ability, it does. It has their, to be their ability does not require oh, yeah. that That's to fine, be then. anything. That's fine, <laughs> it then. just requires you to For, be flat-footed. Right. For us, it has to be an agile or finesse weapon. And oh. then we're flat-footed. They don't have... An agile or finesse weapon, unless the jaws are considered a finesse weapon. Okay. So. It wouldn't be in the stat block if they didn't get it, right? So. Yep, exactly. All okay. right. Gonna, Bring um, it on. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If it has the dagger like the other ones did, it would do a sneak attack with its dagger. Hang on, That's hang on. Reference. Hang on, no. It's the sneak, there is not sneak attack. Um, because it does require an agile or finesse weapon, they get it when they throw their weapon a, or uh, thrown weapon, and they have a thrown thing they can throw their got club, it. Got which it. would sneak. sneak that attack. makes sense. Yep. So they do not get the extra d6. So I got to reroll this. Um, but you are flat-footed, so. Uh, oh, and that ended up being a one. So it's a total of five bludgeoning damage. Sure. Sure. I'm go, uh, go call out. Go call out, Jeff. I am now bloodied. Just um, that moves us to Jacob. Right. Um, you see these bigger f fuckers come in here, and they look they where the other ones looked like they may have been children. <laughs> these ones look like adult ones, kind of. Yeah. That's kind of what you're getting. Move to there and try to hit a. All right, hit a what? <laughs> 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 Nineteen. Nineteen does hit. Yes. Five bludgeoning. Five bludgeoning. Again. Fifteen. Fifteen misses. Is, I didn't see where you went. He's not flat footed, right? A? Right. I don't think so. No, A is not flat footed. Sorry, I'm not. I can't, I can't get on in a Okay, you went that way. My map froze for a second there. So, okay, I moved. I attacked. I attacked. That's that's my stuff. All right, we're back to crew. You are flat-footed, sir. You are surrounded. All what right, like uh, I am definitely going to. Um, let's see. I think A took the most. Uh, A is yeah, easier yeah. for them to A hit. A is the only one that has taken damage. <laughs> The other one hasn't taken right. any. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and, and assume they can't swing on my move, and I'm going to maneuver over to this side of B. Do they have opportunity attack? Mm -hmm. They seem like big dumb animals. 
I'm hoping not. <clears throat> they, yeah, they do not have an opportunity. Actually, that would be a five. I could just step there. I'll just step so it doesn't you matter. You could step. Yeah, yes, you, you could step there. Yeah. Um, and then I will uh, use my twin faint, on starting B. with the rapier on B. Okay. So twenty-three to hit. Yes, that is. For six damage. Okay. And then second hand is with the Kukri. He's flat-footed now. So flat-footed attack for a ten. That would miss. This is gonna be, this is gonna be every turn. Hit, miss, miss. Hit, miss, miss. Hit, yeah. miss, miss. I'm done. It's like you're dancing. The minus five makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, crew's done. That moves us to Abed. You're sitting in the corner. You saw a second one come out of the room. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to light up definitely, a. Definitely, def, definitely going to light him up. Definitely going to light him up. Definitely light up a what? Uh, with produced flame. Oh, yeah. A small Blade. ball of flame appears in my hand. <laughs> Twenty-two to hit. <laughs> we'll pass it around the screens. Twenty-two uh, does it. The creepy to the left hand side. Um, side. <laughs> yeah, the camera's always got to follow the, the the joint though by one person. You never actually see the joint. That's yeah, the trick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, yep. The camera's always one move behind. Yep, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Seven fire damages. Uh, to A. Okay. Yes, he's bloody. Bloody buddy. Buddy, buddy. Anything else you would like to do, sir? That was two actions, I'm assuming. Yeah, that was two actions. Um, do the hokey pokey. Actually, uh, let me check this. Oh, nope, that's two actions as well. Let's see what's this. Mm. You want to glare at him intimidatingly? Can you do that? I don't know. I'm you, gonna, can demoralize. you can demoralize. You can demoralize him. Try to. I'm going to actually run up to... K Does Kane look in rough shape? I'm not in rough shape. No? Okay. No. No. Never mind. I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. okay. If you have to move so minimal, you gotta take advantage of the chances you get. That moves us to Miss Frost then. Your turn is over. Alright. So Miss <clears throat> Frost is gonna back up. Back that ass up. Do you and feel like our, our our allies are a little <laughs> unhelpful in some cases? Hey, actually playing well, like I mean, we have magic finally. users. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have magic users, and then we have the front, front. We yeah, hide the corner. So. They're, they're playing appropriately now. It only took them one level to figure out how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Attack! Ooh, wait a second. I can't move. Why can't you move? They're out of range. Can you use all three actions? Oh, uh, they're out of range if you move. Yeah, because I only have 20 foot range on my fox players, so. You well, could move move behind move. Kane. <laughs> you can attack and then move if you want. Attack and then move. You can probably yeah, it that way. Too. I'm gonna. I will attack. Um, of course you will. And I will attack A. A hey, what? Sorry, that's good. <laughs> That's going to be a joke the rest of the campaign now, because every one of these combats, there's a one labeled A. <laughs> Eventually, it'll be X, Y, Z. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, that's a 27. That is a critical hit. Nice. Hit him up. Well, what were you attacking with? Uh, my Foxfire, my cold damage. That's going to That's Oops, off. that's four cold damage. Four total. That's uh, you two and doubled. Yes. No, that's four. So it would be eight then. Eight. I forgot to hit the little sparkles. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's really um, not looking good. <laughs> and then I'll up. attack. For he's still up. My second attack. Get him. Hey, Kukta, Did uh, you know that? Sixteen. You said. 
15. 15. 15 misses. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that if you hit the sparkly button, it emits the scent of strawberries? Ooh. <laughs> and we know that's worth it. <laughs> uh, and I will actually. I'll go right behind Can. I like to think that Lady Frost smells like strawberries. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen her picture, John. She's adorable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Only when she's, she's nasty. Um. Okay, is <laughs> going to turn. Oh, you stop that. Let's see. I don't know, you'd have to be... Oh, uh, hell, that isn't going to work. <laughs> um, A is going to... Mm. Where's he going to go? He just got poked by Miss Frost. He's going to step... Towards, I don't know if he, anything happens as he steps into Kane's range. Well, he's been in Kane's he was already range. In my, he was already in my range. He was already inside. So, yeah. question. Is that a D&D rule? I thought it was any movement in your space counts towards your opportunity attack. Oh, yeah. Never mind. You're right. Yeah, he moved. He was he was threatened. If you have an opportunity. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what it is. Right? Any movement inside your threatened range, it, it if does, you have opportunity to attack, you get it, yeah, but like, that's because... Jack, Jack, it's Jack. almost like anything but attacking causes... A creature it. within your reach uses manipulate action or a move action, makes a ranged attack, or leaves a square during a move action it's using. So, nope, he moved, he left an, he left a threatened square, he gets AO'd. And that uses that costs your reaction to do, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That costs my reaction to hit him. And he's gonna get it. I was gonna say that seems really broken, but then I went, Oh yeah, that costs your reaction, so you can only do it once a turn. Right. For now. For now, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Things will, she's gonna get crazy. That but is it, that is a natural twenty for a thirty one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. That was critical. Um, you can see his intents to come after Miss Frost. This is a, you 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 Put a stop to that. You roll the damage on it, sir. <laughs> he was winding Fort, up before Fort he even started moving. Um, how does he die? He gets he gets Where's one step into his pursuit of Miss Frost, and you say no. So yeah. how do you say no? He, he hesitated. <laughs> he, he hesitated before taking that step. <laughs> it came an opening. Oh, and yeah, it's so, it. He, he goes, he sees Miss Frost, and he's like, do it, and then he sees you, and he's like, no, I'm going to do it, and then, nope. Nope. <laughs> Enough to go squish. Uh, he is, he is finalized. Um, he turns to you, uh, to you, uh, crew, and he is going to swing his club at you. Nice work, stud. Uh, that's 17 to hit. Uh, thankfully, I'm not flat-footed, miss. <laughs> Uh, he swings at you again. That is a critical failure. Um, oh, let's see. He's got <laughs> action left. I like to think that, um, that Lady Frost pinched Kane on the ass after that happened. Like, <laughs> there's your reward. We don't have that kind of relationship. <laughs> I don't think it matters. He's going to do that. He saw his friend die. He swung at you twice and missed. He's going to take a five-foot step in here, a careful step, and back through the door. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his turn. That makes sense to me. Uh, uh, that moves us back to Kane, then. Where'd he go? He swung he back through the door. Through the door. Through the door right here, where he came out. He swung he twice at crew, missed both times, and then stepped back into that room. <laughs> Did, 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 did he just take a step? Yes. Or did he move? Okay. He just took a step. Into that. Left a that wouldn't matter because I used my AO already. But he left a threat. Yeah. Square. And and you got all the movement you need to get him. They're like the door's still open. You can see his hand on the door holding the door open. Okay. So I will. Um, yeah. I'm holding uh, you can kind of. I'm going to remove this fog because you can kind of see into this room and there's. It will look very familiar when I remove it. Um, a bigger conference room. No, it's a bigger uh, <laughs> set of bedrooms. <laughs> All right. So I will use my lunge to wait. Swing at him. Okay. 
19. 19 hits him. 10 bludgeoning. 10 bludgeoning. Second right. swing. Nine. Nine, Nine times. Nine misses. Nine times. In the all right, that moves us to crew. All right, let's go plug, plug the hole. Yeah, I will move up in there and hold on. I want to look and see. There's an ability. I didn't take it, but there's an ability to like move through someone's space, but it's like. Like squeeze or acrobatics or something? Oh, it's a tumble it's, through. Tumble you through? Is that... Yeah, you want to tumble through, and it's an acrobatics check that needs to beat their okay, so AC, stride. I believe. So it's stride up to your speed. So that, that's part of the movement, then. First tumble. Right. You stride up to your speed. During the movement, I can try to move through the space. Okay, yeah, so that's still my just one. I All remember right. that from first edition. All right. Making an acrobatics check against their reflex DC. This yeah. feels like I could probably succeed. 23 23 and their reflex dc let me see if i can find their reflex dc would be their reflex plus 10 would that be what it is yeah no you gotta beat him you gotta beat him oh your reflex plus 10. no you roll your reflex Uh, do you roll the reflex save i think so i mean i think Uh generally speaking it's just 10 plus but I'm just going to say it's 10 plus right now. Uh, and I rolled a 23, we'll so it probably doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, you did get through. So you All can right. tumble through. So I'll tumble. Oh, I don't know if my map is working now, but I'll be just stop on the other side of him. I'm hoping there isn't another set of these creatures in here. You don't um, see one. But then I will do the... Uh, um, right, was, there, was there any uh, benefit to... So uh, what tumbling Tumb- through? Tumbling through, just successes. It's like you, he's not. You don't get hit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's ten plus. Okay. Ten plus. Okay. So yeah, you beat it. You tumble All through. Right. You're on so, the you get to move through an enemy square. That's the benefit. Okay. Yeah, I know. There's another one. Uh, there's. There, I think there's a um, an ability I can take that improves on that, but I did not take it this time. Uh, so we'll do the twin faint, starting with the rapier fourteen. Uh, misses. Okay, and then distracted, so flat-footed with the Kukri. Uh, eight. That misses. Well, I'm on the other side of him now. I, maybe that'll help. So, I'm done. <laughs> Shove him back in your the room. <laughs> Probably should have. I'll bet if you move ten feet to the south, you can see him. Yeah, I, it would have been funnier for him to shove him back into the room where everybody else is. <laughs> get in there. No, you don't. Yeah, not get over here. Get over there. Yeet. Get over here! Yeah, yeet. <laughs> I, I bet it is your turn. Was... Oh, yeah, my turn. If um, you move 10 feet to the south, you can see him. Yeah, I am absolutely going to do that. Boink. Boink. Yep, you can see him sitting in the door there. And I will fireball his ass, too. Fireball? <laughs> Crew, watch out. <laughs> I am producing flame. That's what Abed thinks is a fireball at this level. Producing flame. Abed fireball, which means it's small. 25 to hit. 25 does hit. It is not a crit. Six fire damages. Six fire damages. Excellent. He is bloody. That's it. My turn. turn. That's it. All right. Bad cool. That moves us to Lady Frost. I think we learned our lesson. Did we? That you that your uh, fox fire is awesome. I mean, know that uh, I don't want to get up into Bee's face and try to kill him. <laughs> so you can five, see him there. Ten, right. Yeah, right there. You could hit him. Yeah, he comes out I, through just gotta gets stay. I just gotta stay within 20 feet. So. Alright. Um, attack for 20 to hit. Yes, 20 does hit him. 3 damage. 
Is there ice stuff? Yeah. Cold. Okay. And I'll try again at plus three, and that is... I don't know what where that one went, but it did not go at the creature. There was something shatters, like these ice shatters uh, over mm-hmm. your head on the snowing. wall on the backside inside. It's snowing indoors. This is new. Um, so All right, that's to, it for me. Yeah, he turns to look at uh, crew, and he is going to swing his club at you, crew. Sure, um, sure. He doesn't like that you. He like tracked you into the inside. Um, uh, and that's a 22 to hit. That'll hit. Um, do, 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 do. For 10 bludgeoning damage. Oof. Okay, that's an ouch. Uh, Oof. Next I'm swing. still barely standing. Next swing is a 14 to hit. Miss. And <laughs> um, he's, he's in full-on panic mode, so he's just swinging. So his uh, third one is a 10 to hit. Miss. He when his buddy died and he realized he couldn't hit you, he was trying to get out and now you're in his way of getting out. Uh, <laughs> Kane, it is your turn. Alright. Step, putting him in threat range, so now he should be he's flat footed from flanking. And does that work now? Uh, does it have to be melee? He's in oh, melee. God. That would be that would be the thing. That's what that's the key I was missing. Thanks, Jeff. It's melee threatened squares and yeah. not because I'm like God. If it works that way, then any ranged weapon would right. like flank. But no, no it's it's a melee. Stand on the either that, side of a yeah. of a clearing in the valley. Or ba- back a, back a step, I can use lunge to hit him. I don't actually threaten that square, so he's not flanked here. But if I move uh, forward now, he's actually in that, my threat range. Flanked. Makes sense. That works. Nineteen to hit. Uh, 19 definitely hits. Six. Six points of damage. He's not looking Still standing. Good. Still standing. 18. 18 does hit. 10. How does he die? <laughs> I hit him in the back of the head and... <laughs> uh, you just see his, his neck kind of crack forward and... Falls forward. Oh, oh, oh. You're looking at him. Suddenly, this, this thing hits him in the back of the head, and you hear the sickening snap as the head just falls forward unnaturally, <laughs> and the body falls towards you. I'll just and say then, thank you. On that note, Tom Norman, do you want to take us out of here? Because it is five to ten. <laughs> yes. Yeah, That's I'm at amazing. three for those of you keeping track. <laughs> Yes. We'll have to do something about that. Yeah. <laughs> Crew has become the tank. <laughs> <laughs> or something. <laughs> we are Two Nerds on Quest. We are here every Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. Central Time. Twitch.tv forward slash Tom M. Norm. T-O-M-M-N-O-R-M. Join us. Join the chat. Vote on show titles. Submit your own show titles. Free to do. Fun to do. Make other people laugh. That's what we enjoy. <clears throat> Good show, John. Um, <laughs> share <clears throat> share the uh, show with everybody. Let people know that this is a thing. Let them know about the channel. Um, Patreon.com forward slash Tuners Request. The best thing you can do is let other people know that we are doing this. It doesn't cost you a single thing. Just pop in, say hi, watch a show, watch the reviews or the, the show replays on Twitch while they're up and on YouTube. Uh, the YouTube channel has a really long string so i'm not going to give it to you but it's on i think it's on all of our social stuff and the website so go to the youtube channel or just search two nerds one quest as a normal person would do and uh yeah we we love having you in chat talking with us saying hi yeah much appreciation for me for rick for cooch for genius and for the dmjc peace out
interested in. You've always kind of been uh, based on your schedules. We're back live. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, if you personally. So uh, for that adventure today, for the defeating of both of those groups, you get 200 experience. Nice. nice. We are going to be level 380. 10 soon. We're not even halfway there. All right. So ideas. if you're in chat, go to that link I just put in there, tommmnorm.showbot.tv, T-O-M-M-N-O-R-M.showbot.tv. Vote on show titles. Uh, uh, drive over and punch you in the nuts. Whole another floor. Sit on it. <laughs> Tickle me spike chair. Tickle me Elmo chair. Wear rubber gloves around Abed. They forgot the trench coat. Attacked by Vincent Adultman. The Morlock Centipede. There's a hit. Not oh. a crit. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, straddling the dead guy. Trips aces aren't good in rolling damage. Attack A. A what? Crew is our tank now. Uh, so go. We'll go this this one. We go. We're in chat. And then what was the other one? Vote, vote, vote. Um, you can vote for more than one, so choose your go. favorite favorites. <laughs> I think we have a clear winner. <laughs> Never know. You never know. You never know. Vincent Adultman is a uh, Bojack Horseman reference. If you haven't seen that show, it is amazing. So I need to watch that show. I I, yeah. I kind of sort of understood the reference, but I have not actually watched the show. I have no clue. It's a great show. You do need to watch the show. There's a lot of shows I need to watch. Oh yeah. Actually, I just started watching last night. I started watching uh, on Peacock the oh, crap. the Lost Symbol. It's a Dan Brown book that's put into oh, really? uh, episode show. Interesting. It it's good. It's really good. If you if you have a trial of Peacock or if you have Peacock, <clears throat> not if you have a precise cock. I love that you said episode show uh -huh. instead of TV show. Uh-huh. Because uh, it really kind of references how the world is changing and how we view things. Because you really don't watch it on TV all the time, do you? No, it's it's episodic. Episodic <laughs> entertainment. Episodic. No. Well, I'm going to sneak out, gentlemen. Yep. You know, have a uh, wonderful vacation. No, you should be you should hey, be sitting yes. here chatting with us instead of with your family on vacation. Yeah. Well, they're all swimming, so and now it's my turn to jump in. Yeah, I mean it's oh, a go jump in. All right. And it's probably the we'll there. Thanks, Gooch. Hey guys. Hey. Good. Eric. All right. I had to duck out too and stuff to go do. Uh. Yeah, I'm not sure about uh, an every Saturday, just because weekends are, are bad for me. Not every Saturday. No, every, but I mean... The first yeah. Saturday of every month. Yeah, yeah. We weekends are are bad for me, because the entire, like, during the week, like, Stacy is gone and busy doing stuff, and so the weekends are literally the only time that Stacy and I necessarily do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and John, what I will say is, remember our uh, original campaign was once a month, and it, and when it was a, a continuing campaign, it wasn't enough. Yeah. So it would ha it would almost feel like it would need to be a series of one shots, as it's, opposed to it, it would be, I would design it more that way. It would be a series of one shots with a uh, a, a continuous story. Right. Like a defined like characters would be the same, yeah. but each one shot would be episodic. Else. Yeah. It would be episodic. Hey, how about that? Yes. Kind of like what I was doing with my horror series, where it was literally a one shot. Yep. And then we could just stop and it. What I, what I may do is just pay for some Pathfinder Society adventures. And I could run those. Your uh, your background's doing that blinky thing again. Yeah, I know. I know. That's an app. Was it doing it the whole time, or did it just. Uh, I think, I think it, it was started. kind of doing it sometimes. I didn't notice until just now, but maybe I was used to it from last time or from Wednesday. Oh. You know what it is? I just realized what it is. Let me see if I can get it to stop. It's your camera? 
Just trying to focus. No, no. No, it... Don't keep going down, John. Eventually, we're not going to want to see that. Eventually, you're going to see my keyboard uh -huh. and my gut. Uh -huh. uh, I stop yeah. at the appropriate places. That's, that's um, I thought I was thinking it was. I think it, I was thinking it was my ceiling fan um, uh -huh. spinning that I was trying to adjust it, but it wasn't. You know what it looks like, John? It looks like the start of a horror movie where friends are talking on a chat and suddenly <laughs> so one disappears. Your background starts <laughs> fluctuating. And... Um, Looks well, John, like one rubber thing, gloves uh, is the winning title. Yep. Uh, one one thing uh, we could talk about is if not everybody's available every time, um, maybe just kind of have a scheduled once a month. Let's get together and do something. And because like we didn't get to play any other uh, any other yeah. games, you know, even just to get together and do some board games or some other, you know. Yeah, kind of one-time things or card games or something. Yeah, just uh, and then and really then when it works, when the right people show up or uh, are available, then slap when on whenever everyone shows up or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea. Or different characters every you know, every time. Or yeah, I mean we can do different characters. I'll do I, I can do one shots every month. I'll do one shot. Oh, that that would allow me to get through a bunch of the ideas I have. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be so nice, honestly, to do one shot one shot once a month. Monthly one shot. Yeah, or do like every other month a one shot, and the opposite one just uh, like a game night. Or let's something. play uh, Plague and Pestilence. Let's play, you know, bring board games. Yeah, the, the other one, bring board games. Like, yeah. All right, I gotta duck out. I will talk at you boys later. Good.